Welcome everybody to another World of Tanks replay. My name is Maxwell and this one is from the user Hawks 1997. This ran the Object 907 on a standard battle on Sacred Valley. Object 907, tier 10, premium medium tank for the Russians. This one, if I'm not mistaken, was a Clan Wars reward tank. Very, very nice uh, Russian medium tank it is as well. Decent uh, maneuverability. Obviously, Russian medium. Good cannon. As we can see, fast firing, decent penetration, and okay alpha damage. And uh, pretty well protected as well. You can see the... Uh, well, you can't at the moment because he's in a bush. You can see the very nice sloping on that armor. It means that it does tend to be very well protected, as we are going to see. So, straight away, Hawk's going to be heading to the northern area of the map. Not quite engaging head-on with the rest of the enemy tanks because he is in medium. Instead, opting to go for this sort of slight flank here. What the plan is with this one is if you can eliminate the tanks that are sort of holding this area, then that allows you to flank around behind the enemy tanks and really do some real damage. But secondly, all what it does is it protects your flank as well. It stops the enemy's medium and pushing tanks from coming around and getting behind your team's tanks and doing serious damage to them. Do is able to pick out this VK4502A. Looks like he is a little bit oblivious there and just gets absolutely wrecked for uh, Hawks' first kill of the match. Does see a Tiger too, but not quite able to pick out his weak spot there. Second shot also bounces, which is un unusual with 264mm of penetration. There we go, gets his uh, third shot right into the Tiger 2 for a little bit extra damage. This SDA-1 hasn't been spotted for a while. He was the one holding off this area. It looks like he may have just opted to leave. And then uh, Hawk's going to push forwards because all of the tanks that were bringing up the rear for the enemy push are now eliminated. There is the SDA-1. He was lying patiently in wait, but Hawks is able to get some damage on him without taking any in return. And the second shot also able to find its mark. He's got his platoon mate here backing him up. But he's able, they're both able to just quickly 1-2 down this STA-1. Now hopefully they can flank around the enemy team. But it looks like the momentum has just ever so slightly shifted. As the enemy team has now finished off all of the allies in the north. And that means that they would no longer be flanking the enemy team. What would be happening is they would just be straight up assaulting them. It does find this conqueror here. And if he can stay in nice and close, there isn't really going to be much this Conqueror can do. You can see Hawks moving forwards and backwards so that the Conqueror can't pick out his uh, weak spot on top of his turret. He is able to get his track, and as you can see from Sniper Mode, the Conqueror can't quite get a shot on him. He's good, just hasn't got the depression. And if he can keep him tracks here, he's able just to finish him off. You can see just 100 to zeros him without taking any damage in return. SU-101 running away from this T110E5. Not quite able to get any damage on him. But should be able to trade very nicely with him. Takes his first bit of damage in the match. T110E5 hasn't quite got the reload speed on the Object 907. So Hawks is able just to work him down. Can he get the last shot? Nope. Because the GW Tiger takes him out. Does get hit by the Batshot Artillery. But he just got a, a big repair kit there to fix his ammo rack and his track. And then he's on his way. Lost about 867 hit points there, I say about, and then quote the absolute exact amount of hit points that he lost. And you know what I mean. Game is very well with the Allies at the moment, winning as they are 11 kills to 8. And this is unfortunately starting to look like a little bit of a whitewash. Although Hawks has now find an e found an E100 all on his lonesome. And it looks like he may actually have tunnel visioned for this artillery. He's getting shot in the rear. He doesn't seem to be doing... Nope, he's not. Doesn't seem to be doing anything about it. Looks like he's firmly got the artillery stuck in his sights. And he is tunnel visioned for the GW Tiger to try and take him out for that one sweet, sweet, lovely kill. But it looks like it may end up costing him 100% of his hit points as Hawks is just absolutely obliterating him. 
He's taken 1,800, 2,100 of his hit points off already. And now Hawks is behind this building in a fantastic side scraping position. And if this E100 fires, he's not going to get any damage. And maybe he doesn't realize it. And there we go. Hawks takes him out for kill number three. But if you take a look in the top left-hand corner, you can see that Hawks did an 100% of the damage to that E100, so that's 2,700 hit points he farmed from that tank, just like the Conqueror before him, took all of his hit points as well, and there you see the dangers of tunnel visioning, that E100 had his sights firmly fixed on the artillery, and to hell with everything else, and that cost him his life. What he needed to do is as soon as he got hit twice by Hawks, if he'd spun himself around, got his front armor pointed at Hawks, yeah, he probably still would have uh, penetrated him through the underbelly, but if he'd start driving towards him, he maybe would have got a shot on him at least. He could have possibly gotten a little bit more damage. But like we said, he just tunnel visioned to the detriment of his game. Now the Allies firmly winning with 12 kills to 10. It's going to be a case of tightening the net around the guys who are left which is this FV215B the Centurion AX and the Batchat Artillery finds the Centurion gets a great shot through his turret you can see that Hawks has done a good job of preserving a lot of his hit points so he can just face tank a lot of these shots it looks like the Action X hasn't quite got the penetration you can see he's rocking forwards and backwards to great effect here making sure that the Action X never gets a clear shot at any weak spot of this tank. You can see he's gone through all of his APCR ammunition now because he shot so many things. Just left with this heat ammo. Gets some great hits on this 215B who doesn't have the gun elevation to do anything about this. But the Object 140 comes in and just takes away that kill that was almost rightfully Hawks's. If he'd gotten that kill, he may have been able to crest the 10,000 damage mark. But as it is, he's still got a super score of 9,400 points of damage. Now it's just a case of closing the noose around the bat chat 155. He makes a run for it. Somebody gets a hit on him. I think it's this object 140. Not sure if Hawks is going to be able to get there in time. He can't, but he still has an absolutely amazing game there. 9,400 points of damage, 4 kills, and just absolutely rampaging all over this game. 100 to 0 in the Conqueror and the E100, and picking himself up a monster score. So awesome game from you, thank you very much for sending that one in, Hawks. Don't forget guys, if you've got yourself a great replay, send that into replay at screenreality.com. The link for that is in the description. I've been Maxwell, this has been a World of Tanks replay, and I will catch you guys next time.